Okay, now we're gonna talk about impact and post-impact. Now, even the non-golfers know, oh, this is the sport you have to keep your head down. That couldn't be further from the truth. Imagine a baseball pitcher getting into the windup. Once he's at the windup, to leave his head there and throw the ball. We've never seen that. Or let's say a boxer going to throw a punch and leaving his head there. It's all controlled by the head. Now, I know you've never heard this, but I actually want you to let your head rotate with your body through the hitting area, which means, no, you will not be keeping your eye on the ball and your head down. I want your body to work as a whole unit, including your head. The equilibrium, which controls the body balance, is up here in the head, not down in the body. So on your downswing, when you're passive and you're rotating, to stop your head, inevitably, it's going to stop the body. So what I want you to do is actually turn the head out. And you know what? Try it a couple times too early. So you're going to turn your head out before you hit the ground. I'm actually leading my downswing with my eye line, and I'm turning my head. The importance of this is so that I can have a lot more club head speed through the heading area versus all the club head speed before the hitting area. When the head stops, the body stops. That's not golf. That's not baseball. That's just what, we, what our body does in human nature. I mean, this is the way it is. The head controls where the body will go and where it won't go. So on your downswing, when we're working on the right shoulder rotation, I also want your head to be a part of that. So at the point of impact, if your head has constant motion, that means your body has constant motion. When your head stops, your body stops. So I'll give you an example here. I'm going to look out the first move on my downswing just to over-exaggerate it so your body has a chance to feel it. We're like shocking the system here. Drop, turn. You can see my head is actually starting the downswing. Now, what's crazy about this is by turning the head, the hips and the shoulders are going to clear automatically because that's what they have to do when the head turns. So I know you may think that, it's, well, if I turn my head, how am I going to hit the ball? That's the importance of the ball placement in the bottom of the swing. As long as we know where the breastbone is, we have no problem contacting it. So as long as you're passive, top and stop, drop, turn your head.